so hey guys it's uh, Quinston and today we're gonna look at uh, the doubly circular link list which is the final step in the link list at least the ones in which we are going to cover in this tutorial series um so the, in the last tutorial we talked about the singly circular link not like it was a doubly link list but it was not circular I mean the last one was not connected to the root so what happens in a doubly circular link list is that the end of the node like that is the last node which you add to the already existing link list is connected to the root through a uh, varied you know links as we have over here the links and that 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 so um I, I i did not think that i should write the code over and over again for the doubly circle link list because it's quite similar to that of the doubly link list but uh, with a few you know changes here and there so i just thought that we should you know directly go into the code um so we have this our normal uh, D node, the the declaration we did in the last tutorial in the class in which we define the memory locations which point and this constructor and everything, the number of link lists. Uh, yeah, and, and and then we have this mm, similar. So let's just go in and just see what happens. So we did everything the same, and here. So when we add a new node, where well, this is a new node de declaration, we have root equal to equal to null. If there is no root then we make the root so we root gave the root value or uh, the denote value and, and then we were like uh, previous values and next values were set to null right because root dot next node was null and root dot previous node was null but uh, now we're making a circular link list right we, we, we like it's a circ doubly circular link list which means that suppose we have um, you know four or three nodes a b and c so a will be connected to b and b will be connected to c B will be connected to C, oh sorry, A will be connected to B and B will be connected to A. B will be connected to C and C will be connected to B and um, and C will be connected to A and A will also be connected to C. So basically you're forming a circle in either direction. I mean, you, you could go A, B, C, A, B, C, A, or you can go A, C, B, A, C, B, A, yeah. So you can go in either directions and they were circular. So there wasn't a big problem. So now, um, so you go root dot next node is should be equal to root. So when you declare a new root, both the pointers should point to the root. Uh, that may be you know controversial, but yeah, whatever. Um, so next we had this. So root was equal to we had else. If if root was already created, then we came in this the else node in the else part, I guess. And then you have current equal to root because you want to you know traverse and everything. So uh, I know in a circular link list there is no definition of root. I mean you can't have a pinpoint definition of yeah this is the root because everything is everything has the same properties. But you just have to have a root in the link list because you know you have a, you need to have a point to start right. I mean that's just very essential for having a link list. And then we go uh, we went in the last uh, link in the doubly link list we went current dot next node equal to null. But here we don't oh, we want the root to be that particular value because we want to check if the next is root then we stop at that particular point where we are um, so that happened and the last in the previous we had this code this amount of code but here we have this amount of code um, it's not a big different uh, difference but uh, you see this, this most of the things are null made to root and <laughs> root the previous notice you know because you want to make it connected in both directions uh, just take a piece of paper and you could write it down and, and you would know what's ha ha happening. If you have watched my previous tutorials, you would know what's happening. Um, because I have done this extensively. Um, then you have the insert function which largely remains the same because we did not use any you know root uh, declarations. We just used temp and a current and everything. So everything is the same for the insert function. I will not go too deep into this because you know I've already made three tutorials which actually depict this. Hmm, so there's no point in going in here. Um, then you have the delete function, which is kind of changing, but it's, it becomes easier. I mean, uh, as compared to the doubly linked list, it becomes a smaller, a, a bit smaller and easier than the previous one. So if you would know that, uh, you would know that if you did the previous ones. Uh, so there was like this, 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 this part of function like a D node equals equal to one, which means that we want to, we want to delete the root. If you want, to, if you want to delete the root, I'm just doing this root dot next node, which is the node which is directly after the root the previous uh, pointer of that next node should be given a value that is an, ad an address which is pointing from the previous one of the root so root next node 
previous pointer should point to the node which is before the root you get what I'm saying right so basically if you have a um, C a B you and C is pointing to a and a is pointing to B and a is the root you want to point B to C yeah B to C if you have a I'm just telling you if you have a pen and a paper you can actually get this right I, I do this on my phone I just take out the pen and I'm like oh yeah I'm drawing the boxes and I'm checking it's easier like that are uh, you similarly this whole thing and you you did this in one direction and you're doing this in the other direction and then, then you're changing the value of the root because if you are deleting the root obviously you want to, to change the value or the change the pointer to the root and you never lose never uh, ever make this null in any part of your program because if you if you nullify the root you have no chance of actually getting to yeah that's one more application of the root you know if you delete the root I mean how are you going to access access other parts of your uh, link list it's ridiculous it's not possible is it uh, yeah and that happened so then you have the else part <laughs> so the else part see this whole thing uh, reduced to this whole thing <laughs> I mean yeah isn't that awesome like you had this whole freaking thing and then it got uh -huh, okay reduced this much um, so yeah, that that is basically because we are not using any, you know. See, everything is current, current, current. That, that there is no other um, pointer except that we we're not using root, we're not using temp, we're only using one pointer, and that is current. So it's it's that easy. Um, so it's current dot next pointer, next node, which is which means that the next node of current, the previous pointer of that node, should be replaced with a pointer which is pointing to current or previous node. So, you know, same thing. It's actually the same thing. This same thing, except for root, we have we put current. <laughs> Isn't that freaking awesome? Like, oh my god, that is so cool. Um, then you have a bunch of print functions, which, you know, are not very helpful but for you to understand. But I'm just, I just put them on there for proving that this actually works. And let's just see if it works. I run this. And yeah, see, it's printing forwards, backwards. Of 15 times that is 15 nodes in circular so you go 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 1 2 3 because I'm printing it like 15 times see 15 and yeah that's about it and you have the print continuous if I if I delete a node see if I list dot delete node and I put 6 over here if I delete the 6 that is the last node and I, I'm like yeah see 5 5 1 to 5 1 to 5 and 5 15 and the number of nodes in the link list is five. Is that simple? That I, I put that over here. See, uh, oh, where, where is it? Oh yeah, node dot link list negative negative minus minus opposed decrementation, and that is over here. Static int. So this is basically a static um, variable because it belongs to the entire class and not to one particular object or instance of the class. So yeah, that's about it for the W circular link list. It's not that hard. I mean. If you have watched the previous ones, I I'm sure this is no big deal. Um, but this is the last link list we're going to deal with because this is the epitome of the link list ridiculousness. Um, so th thanks for watching. Maybe from next time I'm going to do something else. Uh, the link list thing is over. So yeah, thanks for watching if you are watching. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, please subscribe and share and physically like it. <laughs> I mean physically as with the mouse not anything funny. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.